Welcome to Cyber World YT. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell for awesome cybersecurity content. Today we are diving deep into the world of ethical hacking with the top 10 tools you need to know in Kali Linux. Let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with Nmap, the network mapper. This tool is a staple in any ethical hacker's toolkit, and for good reason. It allows you to scan networks, identifying everything connected to it. Think of it like sonar for your network. To use Nmap, you'll need to open up your terminal in Kali. You'll be using commands like Nmap, followed by the target IP address or website you are interested in. Nmap will then send out packets of data, kind of like little digital scouts, to gather information on your target. This includes things like open ports, services running on those ports, and even the operating system of the device. It's like having X-ray vision for your network. Nmap also has a ton of advanced features like OS fingerprinting and vulnerability scanning. I encourage you to check out the Nmap documentation and experiment with different commands and options. Trust me, it is a rabbit hole worth diving into. Next up, we have Wireshark, the network protocol analyzer. If Nmap is like sonar, then Wireshark is like a microscope for your network traffic. It captures and displays every single packet of data that flows across your network, giving you an incredibly detailed view of what's going on. To use Wireshark, you'll need to select the network interface you want to capture traffic on. Once you start a capture, Wireshark will begin displaying packets in real time. Each packet of data contains a wealth of information, including the source and destination IP addresses, the protocol being used, and even the actual data being transmitted. Wireshark lets you filter and analyze this data in countless ways. You can filter by protocol, IP address, port number, or even specific data patterns. This allows you to isolate and analyze specific conversations happening on your network. Wireshark is an essential tool for anyone who wants to understand how networks work at a deep level. Now, let's dive into something a bit more hardcore Metasploit. This is a penetration testing framework that gives you the tools to safely simulate real-world attacks on your own systems. It's like having a digital firing range where you can test your defenses against known vulnerabilities. Metasploit is incredibly powerful and can be used to exploit a wide range of vulnerabilities. It has a massive database of exploits, which are basically pieces of code that take advantage of specific weaknesses in software. To use Metasploit, you'll start by selecting an exploit that matches the target system you're testing. Then, you'll need to configure the exploit with the necessary information, such as the target IP address and any required payloads. Only use it on systems that you have explicit permission to test, and always make sure you have proper authorization before running any exploits. Moving on to wireless security, we have Aircrack Aang, a suite of tools designed for assessing the security of Wi-Fi networks. It allows you to capture wireless network traffic, analyze it for weaknesses, and even crack passwords to gain unauthorized access. Aircrack Aang is incredibly effective at what it does. It works by capturing packets of data transmitted over the airwaves and then using sophisticated algorithms to crack the encryption keys used to secure the network. One common attack method is called a dictionary attack, where Aircracking tries to guess the Wi-Fi password by trying out a list of common passwords. Another method is called a brute force attack, where it tries every possible combination of characters until it finds the correct password. Aircrack Eng can also be used to perform other wireless attacks, such as de-authentication attacks and fake access point attacks. Let's talk about passwords, the first line of defense for most accounts. John the Ripper is a password cracking tool that specializes in cracking weak and easily guessable passwords. It works by taking a list of encrypted passwords and systematically trying to guess the corresponding plain text passwords. John the Ripper supports a wide range of password hashing algorithms, which are used to encrypt passwords and store them securely. It can be used to crack passwords from various sources, including operating system password files, database dumps, and even network traffic captures. One of the key strengths of John the Ripper is its speed. It can try millions of password combinations per second, especially when running on powerful hardware. Strong, complex passwords that are not based on common words or patterns can take a very long time to crack, even with powerful tools like John the Ripper.
Next up, we have Hydra, a tool that specializes in brute force attacks. It's like a battering ram for your login pages, systematically trying different username and password combinations until it finds one that works. Hydra supports a wide range of protocols, including SSH, FTP, HTTP, and many more. This makes it a versatile tool for testing the security of various online services and applications. To use Hydra, you'll need to specify the target IP address, the protocol you want to attack, and a list of usernames and passwords to try. Hydra will then systematically try each combination until it finds one that allows it to successfully log in. Unauthorized brute force attacks can result in serious consequences. Now let's shift our focus to web application security with Burp Suite. This is a comprehensive suite of tools designed specifically for testing the security of web applications. It acts like a man in the middle, intercepting and analyzing all traffic between your browser and the web server. Burp Suite allows you to intercept, modify, and replay HTTP requests and responses. This gives you incredible control over the information being exchanged between your browser and the web server. One of the key features of Burp Suite is its vulnerability scanner, which can automatically crawl and scan web applications for common vulnerabilities, such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection, cross-site request forgery. Burp Suite also includes tools for performing manual testing, such as a web application proxy, a web spider, an intruder tool. Let's talk about SQL injection, one of the most common and dangerous web application vulnerabilities. Skelmap is a tool that specializes in exploiting this vulnerability. It automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws, allowing you to gain unauthorized access to databases. SQLMap works by sending specially crafted SQL queries to web applications and analyzing the responses to identify vulnerabilities. Once a vulnerability is found, SQLMap can be used to extract data from the database, modify data, or even execute commands on the underlying operating system. Always make sure you have proper authorization before using SQLMap on any web application. Next up, we have Nikto a web server scanner designed to identify common vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. It's like a security audit for your web server, helping you identify and fix potential weaknesses before attackers can exploit them. Nikto works by sending a series of requests to a web server and analyzing the responses for known vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. It checks for things like outdated server software, insecure configuration settings, and known vulnerable scripts and files. One of the key advantages of Nikto is its speed. It can scan a web server in a matter of minutes, giving you a quick overview of potential security issues. Nikto is a valuable tool for any website owner or administrator who wants to ensure the security of their web server. Finally, let's explore the world of open source intelligence or OSINT with Maltego. This is a powerful tool that allows you to gather information from publicly available sources and visualize the connections between them. Maltego allows you to start with a single piece of information such as a person's name, email address, or domain name, and then spider out, gathering as much information as possible from various online sources. This includes social media profiles, websites, DNS records, and even leaked data dumps. One of the key strengths of Maltego is its ability to visualize the connections between different pieces of information. Maltego is a valuable tool for a wide range of use cases, including security investigations, competitive intelligence, fraud prevention, and even journalism. Well, there you have it, folks. The top 10 hacking tools in Kali Linux for beginners. Use these tools ethically and legally, and always make sure you have proper authorization before testing any systems. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to CyberWorld YT for more awesome cybersecurity content. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.